Hey guys, I hope everyone is having a great and wonderful day today. You know, in today's video, I really want to share with you something that really excited me when I made this video on Friday, right? Which was basically after going my No Moldavite Challenge, I was just so astonished with how depressed I got when I wasn't wearing Moldavite that I was just like, you know what? I have to figure out where Moldavite even really came from, right? Like what actually gives Moldavite its power? right? Like what makes it so high vibrational? Because it just makes you wonder. It's like obviously then where it came from must be a very high vibration or was it when it actually struck the earth that it hit the ground that that created the actual energy that we feel, right? So I was like, man, I just need to figure out where it came from. I need to figure out where like exactly it landed. You know what, how big was this meteor? And just like what, what just, I just wanted to know so much more about Moldavite's origin that I did a little bit of research. And um, what you see in front of here, guys, is actually a picture of where the meteor, the Moldavite meteor landed. Okay, now there's no really specific name for it, um, except that, you know, the crater is called like Norlinger Rees. And hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Either way, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so, um, so it's called like Nordlinger Rees. And basically, guys, this is the crater that was formed and that was left behind. Obviously, you know, there's now like a town in there, but that is exactly where the Moldavite meteor landed. And I think it's so amazing and it's so beautiful because, because just imagine guys living where Moldavite, the Moldavite meteor actually struck, right? Like, like this is just blows my mind. I could just imagine the energy um, that the people feel here, right? Because as I was looking at more pictures, um, you know, it was just amazing for me to see like these houses, you know, this whole town just looks super clean. And, you know, I was also reading that some of these places are built of diamonds. There's diamonds like just hanging around these places from the, you know, the impact that it that the media created and also the Moldavite. I mean, just imagine how high that frequency must be um, living out there. And I think it would be interesting to maybe go there one day and actually see it, you know, live. I think that it'd be very, very, very interesting. And so basically, um, you know, the crater name Nordlingeries, um, it's, it, it basically means northerners, um, I believe in German. And I was also doing some more research about where um, the actual meteor um, could have came from um, that struck and created the Moldavite, which is um, interesting. Interestingly enough, what I've been reading is that it actually came from a constellation, Orion, which I'm sure many of us have heard of. And um, basically, guys, this place where it's struck in Germany, it's basically a place where the light points, right? This is the, this is like the simplest way I can, I can, I can explain it. It's just the way that they described it was, it's where the light points. Okay. So I believe that this was strategically planned, right? By these higher beings. I personally believe God just was like, you know what, let's find a strategic way to get this to these people. Um, you know, and really just set it so strategically um, to send us this Moldavite, to create this Moldavite from this meteor impact. And um, it's amazing to me how the energy really does come from like outer space. You know, I believe also that, you know, as the meteor struck and it created this crater and it created the Moldavite, you know, it, it still carried this high vibration from both, you know, it being out in outer space and also coming out here and um, creating itself through the through the actual impact, which just makes you wonder, like, you know, like, it just makes you wonder, like, people who have traveled to space, like, how different would the energy be like out there? Imagine just being able to go out into other planets and feeling their energies and um, just seeing how more high vibrational they are. And um, that, to me, just really got my whole mind sparking about meteors and just, you know, so many different things. Um that have been coming up and also along the way I stumbled across this um, this interesting fact about Moldavite was that you know it used to actually be called the Bouteille stone right and that's actually French Bouteille means bottle in French and um, it's just funny how it was actually called the bottle stone before it was ever called Moldavite um, but it's just funny you know I do have the, my Moldavite here um, other pieces of Moldavite and um, of course, my best nice piece right here, just hanging out saying hi. 
Um, but yeah, I really just wanted to share this with you guys because it's so interesting for me to see the crater um, and how it was basically formed, you know, from this, um, the impact. And if I show you guys more pictures, you know, this is like the, like the, the small little German town that's here now and um, just more pictures. And then outside of the crater, which is really cool, that's, this is like where all the Moldavite like basically landed. Um, if you guys um, can see here, this is like, it goes in and then that's the, it's super huge crater, about 15 miles. And so after that, guys, it goes over and this is like where the Moldavite all splattered everywhere and, um, you know, where people go to mine it and just in other areas and locations. So it's just amazing to see, um, you know, these pictures and then see them from far away. It's just so amazing. Um, I think it would be interesting to go out there and really just see, maybe find some real, like, Moldavite pieces out there from its origin. I think, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited about that and uh, sharing this with you as well. So I really wanted to share that with you guys. Just a bit of fun facts for today. I hope everyone is having a great, wonderful day. Great, happy holidays as well. Um, whether you celebrate or whether you're just having another great day, um, I send you guys so much love. Um, don't forget to just subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel. And uh, stay tuned for my next video. I think you guys will be interested in hearing about this, about life after death with Moldavite, which I think is very interesting. Um, but check that video out on Friday, guys. Like I said, I'm going to be making videos Fridays and Sundays. And um, so, yeah, stay tuned for my next video, guys. Give this video a big thumbs up. Oh, my gosh, check out that crater. I mean, you can't tell me that's, like, just not sexy. Look how perfect that circle is. Anyways, guys, so <laughs> – anyways, guys, so um, don't forget to subscribe. I send you guys so much love, and have a great and awesome and wonderful day. All right? Bye-bye.